Jared, what did it mean to get a win here in Dallas? Uh, it felt great to be able to do it in front of friends and family, you know, especially after coming off of a loss. The most important thing to me was to go out there and get back on the winning side of things. How happy are you overall with your performance? Uh, pretty happy, except for I think I might have, I think I might have played it a little bit safe on the feet. Uh, you know, of course I was giving respect to Josh because he's such a, he's a heavy handed and, you know, and throws big punches that, that are very effective. So. Uh, you know, I, I think I, I could have been a little bit more aggressive, but I think I played it smart and, and waited for the opportunity. I didn't rush a finish. Was your last was your last loss? Was that kind of the result? You playing it safe, a little bit on the feet, or? Sure, I think it always is a little bit. You know, if you lose, you're like, man, it's very important for me to win. That's part of uh, this job is being a winner. You know, and and uh, so you want to make sure that you do it right. You don't go out there and be reckless. You know, last time it was kind of like tunnel vision. I'm gonna go out there and just destroy this guy. Next thing I know, I'm the one on the canvas. You know. So this time it's just wait, pick your time, and, and it came. So Josh is a familiar person and opponent to you. You can train with him. What did you see kind of in the first round, and then what did you see in the second round change? Uh, you know, I, I saw pretty much what I thought it would. Uh, you know, he moved about the same. He did everything almost the same, except for he was very smart about uh, keeping his hips back. If I came in close, you know, he jumped back, and, and that was kind of part of the, the game plan to get him back into the cage, was to feign a little bit, make him think I'm going to take him down. Get him to jump back a little bit and then close the distance. Were you guys, what was your guys' history? Were you training partners or friends? No, actually, uh, he just came down for for a wedding. He was a uh, uh, in the he was the best man for for a guy and, and uh, Justin Ren actually who was on the Ultimate Fighter. He uh, came down. He was the best man in that wedding. They said, Hey, can we come by your gym and work out for a couple of days? He said, Yeah, we're taking anybody we can. You know, it's hard to find partners. And came in and we trained a couple of days. And Josh is a heck of a nice guy. Uh, extremely, extremely nice guy, and I said, "Hey, come back if you can." He said, "I would love to." And then, sure enough, we matched up with each other, and, and you know, we're still hoping to train together. Have, have you? Is, well, I guess I, I guess that you were that friend. So I was going to ask you if it, if it was like weird finding a friend, but you weren't. So <laughs> it's almost like a friend in the yeah. MMA world because you know you see all these guys come in and they take a licking or something and they get scooted out. They don't want to come back, you know. For somebody to keep in touch and want to come back, it's almost like a little friendship, you know. You know, only worked out with them three times, and we feel like kind of like you know them. Is, is that an issue you feel like going forward you're going to have to deal with a lot? I mean, you don't have a lot of big heavyweights down at Team Takedown, so a lot of the guys are going to be coming into the gym to help you train. A lot of those guys are going to be potential opponents. It's a big problem. It's a, it's a huge problem unless you're with a huge team, you know, like your Jacksons or your uh, AKA or uh, Black Zillions. It's hard for a smaller team like us because, you know, the, Everybody wants to train where there's more heavyweights. Well, I got to train where I'm paid to train, you know, and where, where our base is. So I'm kind of stuck there, and whoever we can bring in, we, you know, we're very appreciative of that. But uh, yeah, it's very tough, you know, it's very tough for guys to come in there and, and train hard like that all the time. Did you bring in anybody special for this camp? We brought in a guy from Oklahoma, Demario. Uh, he, he fought uh, kickboxing and MMA. He actually fought Pat Berry uh, last kickboxing match. Uh, we brought him in, and we were pretty much ready to go after our last after our last fight. You know, we took the time off we were supposed to, and then got back to training when we were allowed to. I went back up to OSU and got back to doing some wrestling with the big boys up there, and came down here in shape, ready to go. Your teammate Johnny Hendricks is fighting tonight as well. Is that is that a, is that a help for you to have, you know, a teammate? going through the exact same position if you in training camp? You know, it, it was great actually in a way because we got to hang out a little bit. I probably talked more to Johnny this trip than I have in the last two years. You know, we're both on a lot of different schedules, you know, because usually the heavyweights, we go on our own. We don't want to run over guys. We don't want to fall on guys' legs, hurt them or something. So a lot of times it's kind of high and by, you know, whenever we pass away. And, you know, we, we talked a little bit during this, this uh, trip and hung out and, and, and it felt good to get that first win because now it's like, you know, we get one more and we're 100% on the night. Who do you feel is next for you, and what do you want next? What are you going to ask for? I'm hoping for a, a big name fight, you know, anything that can help move me up. You know, whenever I fought Pulele over in uh, New Zealand, he was number 14 ranked. And uh, I, I felt like I handled him no problem all three rounds, beat him up, and uh, and then I, I wasn't ranked at all after that in the top 50. I'm like, how do I just beat up the number 14 and not get ranked? So, uh, you know, I need to move up somehow. I want to get better. I want to keep progressing. I want bigger names. I want more eyes on me. I want to make a career out of this, you know, help me out. Give me somebody with a name. What did you actually, um, did you learn anything from your last loss that, that, that showed up tonight? Absolutely. Uh, last, last loss, like I said, I, I went out there thinking, you know what, I need to go out there and just knock this guy out, you know, show everybody I can do it, get the finish. I hadn't had one in the UFC yet. And uh, like I said, I just kind of lost 
lost track of what I was doing, went out there, left myself op open, trying to throw big punches, and, and I got caught. This time was wait for your time, wait for your time, and when I had him on the ground, I hit him with that elbow. I heard the grunt, I heard the pain, and then it was like, okay, get up here and start trying to finish. It's time, you know? And, and that's the opening that I saw that I hadn't been seeing before. I think that's just experience, it's time.